So I thought I'd shoot a quick video to describe a potential challenge that I've run into and give a heads up to any other DIYers out there who are doing an ICF house. Currently standing on the fifth level of my multi-generational passive ICF house that I've been DIY building mostly on my own. And as many of you know, when you DIY build, you don't know what you don't know until sometimes it's too late. In my case, I think I'm gonna be okay, but I thought I'd pass along this potential challenge to anyone else to prevent what could be a very, very serious problem for them. So for my top level, I am using um, iJoyce roof rafters. Those iJoyce roof rafters connect into a two by 12 ledger. A two by 12 ledger connects into what are called Berman hangers. So it's this nice cool little system that you actually embed into your ICF wall before you pour. I guess technically you could always go with redheads after the fact maybe. I don't know how the structural engineering works for that, but I do know that when it comes to these ICF Berman hanger ledgers, they are structurally engineered and tested to be able to handle the load and everything that's going to be required once my roof rafters are connected into the um, 2x12 ledger. So to make that connection, I'm using this Simpson hanger. And because I have a monoslope roof, it's actually adjustable down here to meet the pitch of the roof. But as you can see, that's pretty wide. And as you can see up there, those bolts for that go into the Berman hanger, those are pretty serious too. So, and depending on what you're doing for your spacing of your rafters, um, 12 inches on center, 16 inches on center, 19.2, 24 inches on center, etc., you could potentially have a problem of having these be sitting on top of those bolts. And that doesn't work as far as have the nailing pattern. At least I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. So what I would strongly suggest, I lucked out. I don't have the problem. But what I would strongly suggest is lay out your rafter design um, uh, before you put in your Berman hangers. Make sure that you have your uh, Simpson connections so that you can see that, so that there won't be any kind of interference between the two. You have some flexibility on where you put in your Bermans. You have some flexibility depending on your wall length in terms of where you put in your Simpson. So just make sure that they don't interfere with each other before you pour. So be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.